the territorial stuff is there right mm. in in cats as well as uh, tigers yeah other than that i mean like how they uh, for example my cat i've i've had experiences with cats and then they're like you know they're usually very very um uh, they comply to me mm. or or they're very friendly to me but once in a while they're just go crazy and just bite you and stuff like that yeah So in case of tigers when we talk about tigers attacking people mm. I mean like is it solely because they are searching for prey and it's hard for them to hunt or is it because once in a while they just go crazy and then they attack people does that ever happen I don't I I would I'd be careful to use the word like go crazy as if it's like a mental uh-huh. No no no, no. <laughs> um but there is that strange 0.0001% of tigers that just attack people solely. Mm, mm. And there's still a big question mark around that about what that is. Mm. But like we were talking about before, 99.99% of the time it's because there's something they cannot they, mm. there's something impeding their natural ability to um Na- to catch and hunt natural prey. Yeah, why I ask this is like with mm-hmm. in social media you see a lot of people petting tigers and Don't you know do that. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, do do these tigers are, because they're very confident and around tigers, right? Is it uh, can these tigers go crazy once in a while and then attack the owners as well? So, I think um a separation needs to be made. So, in these places that are like pay to pet tigers, These mm-hmm. tigers are are drugged. Yeah, of course, in places like Thailand and stuff like that I've seen that. Even in the United States, um these animals are being drugged mm-hmm. in order for you to take a picture or you have these cases where it's the cubs where between the ages of like as soon as they're born, they'll rip them from mom and you get maybe like 3 or 4 months until that cat's going to start to become really dangerous around people and unpredictable. So, they will keep breeding these cats to keep getting um to keep getting young because everyone wants to take pictures of the baby tiger and then after they get too old and too dangerous and too unpredictable they get shot hmm. no but that's the case when we're trying to connect the general public with mm. the tigers but what about the tigers that are around their caretakers you know these mm. tiktok videos where the caretakers are putting their hand inside the cat's mouth Um, stuff like that. Those are the some of those are there's overlap in those areas. Mm-hmm. Some of those are overlap like so, a lot of the like TikToks that I see where like they're caretakers, mm-hmm. you can pay a lot of those places you can pay to pet a tiger to be around a tiger. But then you see the the same tiger with the same person for like mm. months and years. Yeah. I it's not my area of expertise. I do have a friend uh Sarika Kanwilkar, she knows a lot more about that subject than I do. Mm-hmm. Um anytime you see someone petting or in and around a tiger like that, I would be very suspicious that there is abuse going on and mm-hmm. that that person's being incredibly mm-hmm. like it, again, it's not if, it's when. 